AJ and I are brothers, and as brothers, we tend to argue and disagree about a lot of things. Our business is based on passion and opinion, so we get more chances than most to butt heads. Every so often though, our experiences and preferences match up perfectly and our opinions end up exactly the same. This shootout is one of those times. It's impossible to look at any of today's three inch mountain sleds and not have huge expectations. Just that three inch lug alone makes a lot of promises. But the rest of these sleds are so advanced, they better be impressive and they all are. The sleds we'll be looking at today are Polaris's Pro RMK 163 3-inch, Articat's M8000 Limited 162 3-inch, Yamaha's SR Viper MTX 162 3-inch, and Skidoo's Summit X with T3 package in a 163-inch length. These are the best of what each manufacturer has to offer in a 3-inch model. Before we go any further, I'd like to make one simple point. Every one of these sleds is an incredible machine and not one of them is a bad choice. This industry truly has come to a point where every option is a good one, but the fact remains, only one can be the best. First up is Yamaha's SR Viper MTX 162 3-inch. Of all the four manufacturers, Yamaha has come the farthest with their mountain sleds in the past few seasons, and the MTX 162 is hands down the best mountain sled Yamaha has ever produced. For 2016, the MTX gets the same new front end found on Articat's M series. Yamaha calls it the SRV M front end, and it's lighter, narrower, and results in way less spindle drag during side hilling. Improved steering geometry makes turning and maintaining a side hill easier as well. The new front end combined with that monster 3-inch camoplast powder claw track and excellent ergonomics make the MTX a capable climber. But the secret to making this sled a real standout performer is Yamaha's accessory MPI turbo kit. There's no getting around the fact that the 1049cc three-cylinder four-stroke mill found in the Viper is heavier and produces less horsepower than the other two-stroke models in this shootout. The reality is, in stock form, this motor competes with other 600cc two-strokes, not the 800cc mills we're comparing here. But Add the turbo and the extra 45 horsepower that comes along with it, and you now have one seriously competitive power plant. Yes, it's still heavier, but that turbo does one very important thing. It compensates for the horsepower loss you'll experience at altitude where the air is thinner. Where the other 800s in this test might be cranking out 115 or so horsepower at 10,000 feet, the turbo Yamaha is still making 165 plus. Is the extra weight worth it? That's for you to decide. Ergonomically, this sled is very good. It's also well built, but there's one serious kicker that's just really hard to overcome. The stock Viper MTX 162 3 inch retails for $14,100 US. At this price, without the turbo, it's just not realistic competition for the 800 two strokes. Add the turbo and its capabilities change, but you'll now have to fork out a total of 17,400 plus installation. That's a tough pill to swallow. But if you're comfortable with the weight and are willing to pay for the ultra impressive horsepower of the turbo kit, maybe the Viper MTX is worth it for you. Next up is Articat's M8000 162 Limited 3 inch. Right out of the gate, let's just address an obvious point. This is the same base platform as the Viper. Same front and rear suspensions, same ergonomics and same geometry. And all of this is a very good thing. This is the best mountain sled Articat has ever produced. Articat calls their new front end the AMS, or Articat Mountain Front Suspension. I have no idea what happened to the F in that acronym. What I do know is that it's a huge improvement over the 2015 setup. The older model suffered from excessive spindle drag when the sled was on its side. The steering geometry also required excessive effort to keep the sled on its side when side hilling. These two issues resulted in a sled that just wasn't as happy as it should be when you really needed it to cooperate. The AMS solves almost all of that, but still, compared to its competition, the M8000 just isn't as easy to get on its side and it's not as easy to keep it there. The most interesting comparison between Yamaha's MTX and Arctic Cat's M8000 is obviously the motor. Any weight or horsepower disadvantage you may have to accept with the Yamaha is completely gone with Articat's 802 stroke mill under the hood. 
This motor has always been praised for its excellent horsepower, and this is still true in the M8000. But it does have some characteristics that aren't as desirable in a mountain sled as some of the other two strokes in this class. First, the 8000 makes its most impressive power at higher RPMs than you might be used to. On the trail or on the lake, this isn't a big issue. But on the mountain, where precise track control is paramount, the high revving nature of Arctic 800 makes power more difficult to modulate and throttle control less precise. Simply put, that high RPM horsepower curve makes this sled harder to ride than if it made horsepower at a lower RPM. And we've said this many times about all of Arctic Cat's 800 two-stroke sleds. This is a problem that could very likely be resolved with the release of a new SeaTac 2 800 power plant. Bottom line with the M8000 Limited 3 inch is simply this. Traction is great, ergonomics are great, build quality is worlds ahead of anything Articat has produced in the past. These are all good things, but for $14,400 expectations are high and more needs to be done when it comes to all mountain handling and power delivery characteristics. Skidoo's 2015 Summit T3 was the world's first factory produced 3 inch mountain sled. It's very much responsible for the shootout you're watching right now. It created the demand for the 3 inch models the other manufacturers are offering now. I'd say thanks is definitely in order. But the T3 package is not the only industry's first found on the Summit X163. The T-Motion skid was also an industry first concept that must be felt to be truly understood. By now, everyone knows how it works, so I'm not going to get into great detail on that topic. I will, however, say this. The T-Motion equipped T3 Summit is an extremely easy sled to maneuver in deep snow. Open bowls, tight trees, doesn't matter where you are. This sled makes riding where it's steep and deep, dare I say, easy? Skidoo gets big marks for ergonomics, too. If you're coming from a different sled, you may feel like you're standing too far forward on the Summit. But I promise you, give it a chance and your riding abilities will tell a completely different story. Skidoo's 800 E-Tech is, to put it mildly, an outstanding power plant for high altitude riding. E-Tech handles altitude changes in a completely transparent manner. Power is stout down low and incredibly smooth, which makes precise track control effortless. Obviously, traction is every bit as insane as the rest of the sleds in this shootout. And at a list price of only $13,800, the Summit X163 T3 is significantly less expensive than any other sled here. Still, with all this good comes a few things we're not crazy about. First, the front end is still very susceptible to bending even in a mild impact. This is less of an issue on a trail sled, but on a mountain covered with trees, stumps, rocks, and other hidden obstacles, this can become a big problem. Second, the T-Motion equipped Summit is not as light as it should be. Now, T-Motion is incredible and masks any weight penalties you might have to accept while you're moving, but you're gonna eventually get stuck. It happens to the best riders in the world. And when you do, you'll wish that Summit was just a few pounds skinnier. The final sled we're going to look at today is Polaris's Pro RMK 163 3-inch. For 2016, the Pro RMK gets the slimmer, lighter, and all-round better axis front clip. And like the rest of the sleds, this is the most capable and impressive mountain ride Polaris has ever built. Its list of impressive attributes is long. Firstly, it's light, super light, lighter than any other 3-inch mountain sled on the market by a large margin. The saying, light is right, is true for any off-road vehicle, but it's especially true for a snowmobile that's designed to climb mountains in 18 feet of powder. Equally as impressive as its light weight is its 800 clean fire mill. Completely reworked in 2016, this power plant makes power everywhere. Down low, it's a stump puller, but it's also got long legs up top. Perfectly tuned Polaris and Team Industries clutches make power delivery buttery smooth, and Clean Fire Semi Direct Injection handles altitude compensation without issue. If there's one thing nearly every person who rides a Polaris Pro RMK agrees on, it's that ergonomically this sled is pretty much perfect. Seriously, that's a bold statement, but it's true. Doesn't matter the scenario, this sled fits and feels right. Likewise, handling is what dreams are made of. Thanks to its incredibly rigid chassis, the Pro RMK is uncannily predictable. It does exactly what you expect it to all the time. 
And because it's so light, it requires way less effort to manipulate, even in the tightest scenarios, than anything else on the mountain. Other details like the super narrow axis body panels and narrow, wide-spaced forged A-arms increase clearance and reduce drag. There's really only one question left to answer. What don't we like about the Pro RMK 163 3-inch? In a word, price. It's the second most expensive stock 3-inch mountain sled in this test. It's 200 bucks less than the Cat, but at 14.2, it's $400 more than the Skidoo Summit T3. All this brings us to the part everybody's waiting for. What do we at Snow Tracks think is the best 3-inch mountain sled you can get in 2016? It's a simple, yet pretty complex question. It's also something that AJ and I incredibly, completely agree on. By the time you get the Yamaha's performance to where it's legitimate competition for the others, you spent a considerable amount more than the others cost completely stock. It's the heaviest of the group and could use a bit more tweaking in the handling department. The Arctic Cat is light and it's priced competitively, but its 800 mil lacks the bottom end grunt and precise power delivery today's riders need when things get tight. The Skidoo is a crazy good deal and a crazy good performer. It has and does everything you could possibly want and leaves money in your pocket for accessories and upgrades, or get it a jail gifts for the wife after you tell her you bought it. There's little bad to say about this sled and it could be the winner. If the Polaris RMK wasn't so darn perfect in nearly every way, you can send us all the hate mail you want accusing us of being biased towards Polaris. We just don't care. This is not a decision based on any kind of bias whatsoever. The 2016 Polaris Pro RMK 163 3-inch is absolutely worth every extra penny you'll need to spend to get your hands on one. It's not that it can necessarily do anything the others can't, it's that it just does everything so effortlessly and predictably. It's got a great motor, it's got near perfect aeronomics, its chassis is incredibly rigid, and it's super lightweight. It also has a long list of trick features the others don't. Simply put, the 2016 Polaris Pro RMK 3-inch is the best stock production mountain sled this industry has ever seen. End of story. If you enjoyed the video that you just saw, like it and then subscribe to our page for more great content from Snowtracks TV.